Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. And last time we, uh, well, we busted So Me out of Hansen's clutches and uh, escaped with our lives, thankfully. We did end up betraying Reed and Alex, but you know what? They killed the two Netrunners, one of which was Aurora, and I liked Aurora, she was nice. So, meh. Nah. Uh, and in the, in the interim, I came back here and uh, had some time with River. There he is, just a snoozing. Ah, bless him. Had a shower, all that jazz got changed, you know, just really um, took some time to chill. So, now we need to get on, do we not? Tool. Tool. What? Open your eyes, your toothbrush, hairbrush, coffee mug, the FIA is collecting your DNA, they're trying to replace us. You have to go underground. Um, Tool, sounds like you're doing better. Yeah, okay. Error, contact not found. Whatever. Okay, Dogtown base. Care for some advice? Caution, V. Especially now. After the untimely death of their master, Hansen's hounds will be tearing at each other's throats. And at any outsiders who get in their way. Alright, Mr. Hans. I know he wants to be ruling the roost. Mr. Hans, regarding the prototype... What? There's a... What? Uh, okay, um... Oh, prototype implant. Yes, yes. V, I received word someone attempted to sell a Zeta Tech ocular implant in Dogtown. Bells ring, buzzes buzz. I trust I needn't point out the similarities between said prototype and the one you sought among the scavengers. The very same, perhaps. Yeah, I thought we'd close that contract. We did, yet it might still interest you to learn he was last seen in a Golden Pacific squat. Okay, I guess that's Hans wanting us to go do something for him. Oh god, that's loud. You're worried. <laughs> it's you. What now? Uh, Talk to Barry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna interfere. Go in. Like I Game's the only reason I got out of bed in the there we morning. Go. Okay, let's have a look. What else shall we do? So we've got to wait for news from Songbird, which is fine. Leave the area to end the date. Oh yes, we had a date with River. There you go. Um Ask Misty about the new tarot card you found? Maybe we should go and see Misty. We've not seen Misty for ages. See how she's getting. We went tonight. We're going somewhere that'll All right, I'm gone. Who cry out loud, Mendez? Who cry gone. out loud, Mendez? Who cry out loud, Mendez? Oh my god. She's stuck in a loop. The place is haunted. There you go. A lovely date with River. After all that bloody trauma, good god, and it was, it was traumatic, all that blooming warring, <laughs> can we, hello? That on purpose? Wow, for somebody who's dressed like a monk, not very chill man, okay, can we, hello, thank you. Good lord. Oh, will it be on the news? Hansen's dead. Come to see also. Let's see. What? <sighs> Bloody radio just came on. No. Let's just get out. Good lord. That was excessively loud. Can I just... Yeah. There you go. We can just do that. Screw it. <laughs> Let's go and see Misty. See how she's getting on. Like I say, we've not seen her for ages. Oh, she's okay. Checking them Misty. Out. Hey. I like Misty's esoteric. It's a nice little oh, shot. Oh, yeah? peaceful. When you get those kind of things. Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. Mm. What'd it look like? Grab the scan, take a look. Tarot. 
Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. Oh my. Uh. Go on, Major Arcanum. What's that? I already know. The, uh, but... the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing mm. as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. True. Very true. Okay, um, yeah. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. <laughs> well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. No, I suppose Right, not. great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. Okay. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Uh, what do I do with what I find? Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Oh. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh my. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I mean, I did tell you already pick the road. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Hey, Misty. Happen upon some more murals. A little different. These can't say exactly how, just different. Mm. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. Ah. Uh, saw a guy with some swords. Yeah. So, saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Hmm. You've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. Oh. Something good? Hmm. Well,. The King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. Oh. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. Damn. Uh, a majestic figure and a goblet. <sighs> I saw this figure sitting there with, mm, don't know, a goblet maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. Yep. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. And V, hun, the last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. Or a crisis. Bloody hell. Um, someone sitting, holding a big stick. This was the hermit, I think. So it? there was this figure, seated, okay. holding this thingamabob, like a club or a scepter or something. The King of Wands? Oh, King of Wands, yeah. So, that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. Hmm. Okay, last one. Saw a figure and some stars or pentagrams. So I saw a hooded figure, star or pentagram behind them. Devil's dealing's your area of expertise, too? <laughs> mm, the King of Pentacles. Having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Yeah. Someone like that. Dangerous, V. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. Mm. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard. I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Okay, um... Yeah, I've got to wrap my head around this. Uh, thanks, Misty. I guess. Still got to wrap my head around this. Mm -hmm. You know where to find me if you need any help, V. I can get you a new jumper, you know. 
Yours is very holy. Okay. Well, um, yeah, thanks. I wonder if that... Uh, like, the person at the top of the... What would you call it? The top of the... On the throne? I wonder if that's Mr. Hans. Maybe. Mm. Alright, who's this? What's this? River! Oh, River, hello! What's up, River? Got anything on your plate? Be nice to see you. Well, we've already seen him. We can't be seeing him all the time, living in each other's pockets. That's silly. All right, here. Aha. Right, so I wonder what these folks want. The cross. Oh, Rod B. Rod G. Hello, can I come in? Call. It's V. Yes? We're upstairs. Thanks. All right, all right. In. Come in. Okay, penthouse. I wonder, what do they want, is the question. What are they after? Seeking something. More help, maybe? More, I don't know. <sighs> it's a safe area. So we are safe, nothing bad's gonna happen. It's oh, good hi. to see you again. All something right. happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. All right, can we go in here? He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. A little bit. Well, Mike, bother us we're at talking doing about what, the cornerstone exactly? of my platform. You'll know I'm not doing minute. a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Okay. Now look, I gotta go. That's, Make that's... the amendments, we'll powwow later. Dude is kind of stressed out. V, J yes. glad you could make it. Hello. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Well, all, all right. Where can I, can I sit here? Okay. What do you want? We've had a break-in. Oh. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. Okay. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Okay. Nail him. No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. Okay. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. All right. Sorry if you could hear the train in the background then. It's just gone past and uh, as it's reasonably sunny in the UK, I've got my windows open. Um, yeah, you've told the cops. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. All right. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. Mm -hmm. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Okay. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, why do you hire such a small firm? SSI is pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arsaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. Hmm. Uh, is anything missing? Yeah. Intruder, take anything. Break anything. Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Hmm. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Well. Describe the intruder, yeah. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. No. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. <sighs> when did you come to? What? Said you passed out? Oh, yeah. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea who you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Was it a dream? Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Was this a dream Security or Security cams didn't record know. anything. 
Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Mm. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This right. security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Yeah. Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. Who's that then? You think SSI might be behind this? Um. Could be. Could be somebody behind SSI, yeah. That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Mm. Walden well, Holt? Who's that? He's my main rival. Yeah. Fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. I need to have a look around. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. All right. It does sound like a bad dream, but then do you suppose maybe somebody kind of hacked on. into him? Like Let me show you around. I don't, I don't, I don't know. All right, Liz, let's um, uh, rather do this my own way. Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you in case. Okay. All right, let's do a, a good look around here. Is it in this room. Can we go out this way. We can get out here. Plants and stuff. Bloody cracking view, though. My God. Love it. Okay. Get out here. What a champagne. Nothing in the bar. No. Hmm. Papers. That's a towel. Gee, oh, okay. It's a towel that's now on the floor. Never mind. Hmm. Nothing else around the outside here? Whoa. Alright. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Tasty, by the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. There's some weird chem stuff in here. Enhanced food? It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. You know, Johnny, you have got all the wit and charm of a... Alsatian dog after a head swap operation. There we are. And if you know what that's from, well, you're my kind of person. Okay, so what you slot is what you got. Did we? Oh, we haven't read it. Okay. Maybe this will. Oh, okay. The girl brushed a violet lock of hair from her forehead and winked at the man with a silver tattoo standing on the opposite side of the room, sending him the studied smile of a charming ditz. At this moment, Lucy Murray was the fluff-brained daughter of Cosmo Co Cosmo Tech CEO, known for her love of hot pink cars and an IQ that matched her shoe size. She couldn't afford to slip out of character, not if she wanted to finish the job. Hey! She called out in a thin, pouty voice with a note of vocal fry. So glad you came by. Ever since Daddy bought me this cafe for my B-Day, almost no one comes here anymore. Good God. She looked at him, hook, line and sinker. He turned to look at her, some exaggerated yet flirtatious pity in his expression, then started to over toward the counter. Lucy executed a quick scan to identify the organic parts of his body and prepared the hypodermic needle containing the sleeping agent. She took three steps in the tattooed man's direction and, as she's done dozens of times before, pretended to stumble. Of course he caught her as she fell into his chest, then, in a blur, Lucy injected the needle into an exposed patch of organic tissue. No gasps of surprise, no shouts, not a single peep as he slumped to the floor. Lucy smiled again, this time in triumph. I have him, Peter, she hollered towards the back room, dropping her sugary valley girl tone. Is the deck ready? 
Without waiting for an answer, she grabbed her pair of Cosmo glass and launched the neural data retrieval program. Lucy Murray was gone. The violet-haired woman now smoke, spoke as the elusive netrunner known as Bubble Gum, the best-paid data thief in Night City. Yet in a moment, she would become someone new altogether. She would become the man with the silver tattoo. Bubble Gum loved her job. Breaking into people's memories uh, was like riding on extreme brain dance emo high. She felt as their foreign limbs became her own. She absorbed their thoughts, views and mannerisms. It was no different this time. The tattooed man's mind began to take root, pushing out the last remnants of Lucy Murray. His name was Mark Collins, and he was walking along a derelict metro tunnel. A stale mustiness hung in the air. Mark Collins hates that smell. Guessing she'll pop in somewhere around here, he thought. Listen, damned if I know how your neuro system works, so I'll just say it out loud, he mutters, as if for, to himself. I know you're crawling into my mind about now job comes from us. This was the only safe way to contact you. In a minute, we'll be right below Cosmotech. I'll show you what your father's keeping locked in the basement, level 5. So watch close, because only you can help us. Ooh, that sounds quite good, doesn't it? Okay, can we go in here? Ooh. Okay, is this just back to the main stretch? Yeah. Main bar area, or whatever. Alright, let's go in here. What is this? Ooh, hello. The solo was my manual. den oh, before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't look good anymore. No. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the Ooh. first, but it won't be the last. Now, okay, let's let's have a look at this. Oh, we can't get in. Of course we can't. We go in this one. Ah yes, here we go. Welcome on board. Ooh. Welcome to the team and congratulations on your newest assignment. You have no doubt already been informed about the work we do here, but I'd like to take a moment to remind you how vital our responsibilities are. Our priority is to protect our main targets. Due to their VIP status, they are to be considered in constant danger. Not only the most obvious kinds, but also with regards to privacy and emotional stability. You are all required to immediately report any behavioural anomalies from the VIPs on and off site. Do not wait for your partner to do it. I think we'd all prefer slightly more paperwork over a full Class 6 anomaly. Your security classification is Code Orange, which grants you access to all areas, excluding Sector Zero. Sector Zero is exclusively restricted to the field agents tier Blue and Black. If you run into a blue or black agent during the night, do not engage with them whatsoever unless you receive a direct order from me or from said field agent. Follow the above rules and will ensure further continuation of the operation and security of our VIPs. That's weird. Okay. Accident. We have an urgent situation on the main site. There was a behavioural anomaly during maintenance works and a blue agent was injured by target Alpha. Alpha is secure, but blue 66M is in critical condition. I am requesting emergency access to Sector Zero in order to retrieve medical supplies. Hold on a minute. Are the Perales's robots or something? Okay. It looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Mm -hmm. uh, accident, okay. I cannot gain remote... I don't... <laughs> I cannot grant remote access to Sector Zero, but the access code to the main room is 6709. You can remotely control access to Sector Zero from this terminal. I have informed management of the situation, and a black echelon rescue team is already on its way. 6709. Okay. 6709. Can that get us in here? I suppose. Can we... Oh. No. 6709. Yes! Look at that. Okay. Maintenance procedures. To all teams, we're coming up to our scheduled maintenance works. You know the drill. Only one necessary agent will remain on site. In the meantime, the security system will be switched off and scrubbed clean. Mercenary on site. To all teams, despite making my reservations known, Target Alpha has decided to contact a mercenary to look into a political matter. Though Alpha's worries may be justified, an outsider on site raises serious concerns. If you encounter the mercenary in question, do not talk to them unless otherwise instructed. Regardless, carry on with your duties in accordance with standard procedure. What the hell? Are these guys like robots or something? What's going on? File deleted. Everything has been deleted. 
Well. Hmm. Curiosity. Hmm. Something's off here. Something's way off. Way. Way off. Okay, what's 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 up here? Oh, what's this? Blood stain. Not quite scrubbed clean. Mm. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm one hundred percent sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Mm. Probably. Maybe. Let's just have a little peep in here, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh. Oh, what's this thing? Big, big TV. Oh, broken. Smart. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. Johnny. I can fix their screen. I can't fix their screen. I don't have the tech. Why is this door concealed? Yeah. Where? There's no door here. Let's Scanners this showing first. something different. This is a what? Wait. You mean here? Right here. It's closed. Previous owners left over, maybe. Let's force it open up. Open it somehow, please. <gasps> Look at this. What the hell? Maybe it's worth checking their office downstairs. What's all this, jazz? Jesus Christ! First aid. Think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects? Yeah, so much going on here. Look at this. They violated our privacy. <gasps> Under my own roof. Use meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Mm. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Yeah, did you never notice anything? Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious? That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, wonder how long they've been hiding this from you, yeah. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh, my head. Oh God. Is something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. All right, just, just take a sit down. Just look at this though. I mean, they were spying on these people. But why? It's weird. I mean, they're just... Just... Normal people. Surely to God. Well, I mean, they're rich and wealthy and all that jazz. But, oh, do we need a... Do we need it more to get in? Oh, no, look. Here we go. Report. Operation Condin. Entry 0987. Ooh. Typical behavior of the target exceeds acceptable variation range. Alpha has started using stimulants, most likely due to heightened stress induced by recent events. I hereby authorize amplification of neural dampening. Okay. Despite objections from Security Chief Wallace, Subject Alpha has contracted the services of a local mercenary. This qualifies as extreme deviation from acceptable behavior and brings Alpha's overall stability into question. Emergency maintenance requested. Requesting maintenance. Request to proceed with Operation Condid. Condin, sorry. Target Alpha has been approved. A joint manoeuvre will be conducted with Team Orange. What is Condin? Report from Operation Condin. Mercenary contracted by Alpha has appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Tier Orange reports that the mercenary does not pose any threat to the operation. Suspension of Operation Condin. An extreme behavioural deviation occurred while conducting planned maintenance procedures. Field agent Blue 66M was severely injured by target Alpha and evacuated by Teams Orange and Black. Operation suspension protocol has been initiated and only Team Orange is to remain on site. Team Black will continue observation until normal operations can be resumed, which will not occur before the audit and report summary from Team Blue. What the... What the hell? So, uh, I mean, uh, can we, is she alright? I think she's alright, isn't she? Is there anything else out here? I think we have to go up on the, on the roof, don't we? What else? Is there anything around here that we can investigate? Mm. 
it's just weird, isn't it? It's a weird thing to do. I imagine it's so windy up here. You wouldn't be able to sit out here comfortably, I don't think. Okay. Alright, let's 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 go up. What's up here? Are we gonna get attacked? Alright. Good cop. <laughs> What is this? Odd. Tech's practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? So it's come there? Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Well, it's got it's, a vision on our receiver. It's there. Black Van Park next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is this all for, though? Yeah. Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. Yeah. See these cables? Oh. All of that. Thank you. So it goes down here. Come on, Johnny. We're on a mission. Need here. Gotta be another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. We've, we've already been in here. So the cables come to here. Weird hardware. Yeah. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Hmm. Okay. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Maybe we should ask. Um. Yeah. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Hmm. I don't see any other possibility. Don't really see any other possibility. But we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. Yep. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? No, I won't. I won't. Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. Mm. That's fine. Just remember, it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. <sighs> this is just weird, isn't it? It's just weird. Go out here. Nothing else? Worthy of note? Oh, just brings us back round here, bloody hell. So. Right. This is weird. I don't think we went in here, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, let's have a look in. Oh my god, this goes on. What's this way? Ooh! Ooh! Hello! This might be interesting. California After Dusk, The Life of Richard Knight. Okay. Richard Knight was a pessimist, even in the late 80s when the economy seemed headed for endless growth and the nuclear threat for the ash heap of history. Knight saw the United States as hurtling towards collapse. Richard Knight was an optimist. He believed the world could be changed for the better and that he was the one to do it. Richard Knight was a realist. Aware he couldn't change the face of all of the world all at once, he decided to start small, for him at least, by constructing the ideal city. His utopian metropolis was to be called Coronado City. It would stand as a metaphorical city on a hill, a shining example to the rest of the world. Richard Knight was doomed to fail, not because his vision was inherently impossible to realise, but because many important powerful people wished to make it so. Richard Knight was murdered. The city whose foundations he laid was finished after his death, but his utopian dream soon became a dystopian nightmare. Even the original name was lost. In honour of the city's tragically deceased founder, the Coronado City was rechristened Night City. Ironically, the name fits. If anything, the city is a cat. Sleepy during the day, it comes frantically alive at night, and it loves to toy with its prey. Ah, wow. Okay. Okay. Dad's campaign. Okay, Elizabeth Perales. Ooh, 
Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break, but I think it's best if you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. You should spend some of this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything Europe has to offer. Love, Mum. I get it. This is about me becoming a target if I get involved with the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a heart attack. I'm not a gonk. I know the NC mayors had have a habit of leaving their jobs in a coffin. It's fine, don't worry. Just watch out for yourselves, alright? And do what your security tells you. Is he behind this? Okay, help the private matter. Judy, hey. Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. This is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you, you'll return the favour Jeff once did for the, ma the mocks. Can we count on you? I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what it's about? It is about certain brain dance, I'll be honest. The matter is of a highly delicate nature, and discretion as much as professional analysis is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you'd be well compensated for your trouble. Okay. Believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tired at the moment. I know someone who you can call, though. She's a merc. Known quantity at the afterlife. Does pre-tier work. They call her V. I'm sure she will agree to help. Thank you for the referral. Okay. Little favour. Need confirmation. Okay. Hey, Liz. Sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leah Patel? One day, we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day, when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Don't worry about Jeff. Don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is, what you agreed on just slipped his mind, plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favour of Leah remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff and let's all just put this matter behind us. Understood. Thanks for clarifying. Huh. My god, she's a YouTuber. She has the mic. Or he has the mic. I don't know whose office this is. Oh, this is fancy. This is very fancy. Another screen, I'm assuming. Is this like their room, do you suppose? <gasps> this is the gunning question. Hmm. Interesting. Family stills? Yeah. What's this? America, a prophecy. Oh, we've already read that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is the bathroom. Nothing in here. That is quite the view to have in your bath, isn't it? Good lord. Alright. Well. Hmm. I don't know. Something's really off here, isn't it? Something's really dodgy. I think she was back through... Yeah, that was back through here. Did we go in here? No, we didn't. Okay, let's go up. Oh, this is quite the room. My goodness. In here? No. Nice. Very nice. Like I say, I imagine it's a bit bloody windy. Good lord. Get blown away. Let's take a dip. Whee! Okay. Just had to take a little dip. It's random. Hmm. This is like a helipad. <laughs> ah, that's where we were before. Okay. Hmm. Do you reckon it's their son? I assume their son. Oh. Because he said, just do what your security tells you. Hmm. 
I think we've been round the whole the whole gaff now, haven't we? Looks like it. Okay, let's 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 get out. And then go and see what we can see. Aha. See if we can find whoever it is that's surveilling the gaff. Weirdos. I just I don't know, it's a strange thing to refer to your, your, the person you're supposed to be looking after as a subject. I could say maybe the sun, maybe the sun hired them. Johnny? How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. All right, we'll take the wheels, don't worry. Okay, it's fine. I'll call the vehicle. Come here, motorbike. Let us go. Okay. Climb aboard. Let's go! Slam it. to find out. Alright. Should we call the bike round here? There you go. Don't gonna lose him if you don't pick no, up the no, pace. You're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. Oh for God's they sake. They could Johnny. be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Alright, we'll catch him, we'll catch him, I promise. We're on a bike for crying out loud. Nothing that can stop us now. Okay, maybe that was a stupid idea. Jeez Louise. Good. Well, that wasn't massively successful, was it? But do you know what? Do you know what? We did what we could. We did what we could. Take that down. Don't know where this other camera is, but well, whatever. Anyway, as um, as fun as that was, <laughs> we are going to leave it there for today. Next time we will continue onwards, and we will find out just exactly, exactly what the hell is going on. Because why are the parallels is being spied upon and all sorts of weird stuff? It's weird. So until next time, be safe. Be good. Look after yourselves.